Hello everybody and welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video. Today, we will be drifting the beautiful Mustang Mach-E 1400. If you didn't see my last video on this car, check that out at the top right of the screen. It's an amazing car, you should definitely try and get it. But there's a unique thing about this car that you might see at the bottom right. With the touch of a button, I can make this all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive and switch between the two that easily. So today, what we are going to figure out is what is better for drifting, all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. Now, I already went ahead and made a tune for this car. This is the tune, and here is the share code if you would like to use it. And I also went ahead and made this thing red because it's drift mode time. We're going to have a different color. Let's test out which is better, rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. I have my guesses. Put your guesses down below in the comments. We're going to start out with rear-wheel drive because why not? All right, here we go. Drifting in the Mach-E. Here we go. This is going to be a good one, right here. It's going to be a good rear-wheel drive run. Uh, just barely even just kept the rear wheels on the road. And that's all I was going for. Wow, this thing is actually really good at drifting, if you can handle it. But I got 965, I think I just saw. Now we're going to test on the way down. Okay, this might be a better run. Or not. Well, we'll see. We're getting close. Oh, this is going to be better. Surprisingly, after I made all that mistake, those mistakes. Nine hundred and eighty thousand rear-wheel drive going down the hill. So it was better going down the hill, I think. Okay, now we are going to do all-wheel drive, which I think will be a bit better. But let's let the numbers tell us. I'm really trying now because I'm being quiet. It helps. All right, this is this right here is a good corner. Oh yes, yes, much better. This is about to be good. Yes. All right, we got a worse score than rear-wheel drive on the way up. Now, let's see what I can do on the way down because that was that was also pretty hard to do. It's harder to not spin out in rear-wheel drive, but this one, it's harder to like stay in a drift, if that makes sense. Oh, this is going to be a good one. We'll see. Oh, is this going to be the best? I think it will. Oh, it is. One million. Yes. My prediction was correct. All-wheel drive was better at drifting. Now, I'm sure if I did a few more attempts, I could probably get each drive mode a bit higher but all-wheel drive i think is just that little bit better for just giving you the power you need to get through those long corners anyway guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching subscribe to get notified when new videos come out speaking of i'm doing a mclaren 765 lt video soon because i just literally just unlocked that car like 30 minutes ago so stay tuned for that but that's all for today Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye for now.